Hello everyone, Mark Houlihan here for Speedway Motors. We are at the 2022 SEMA show and we stopped by to see our good friend Mike Hamrick here with Willwood Brakes. Probably the, the most common question we get from the people that write into us is brake fluid. Does it go bad? How often should I change it? That sort of thing. Absolutely. So most brake fluids like your 3.3.4 and then you're going to start seeing a lot of the 5.1. Okay. All of those brake fluids are hydroscopic. And what that means is as they get warm or used, they absorb moisture. So being glycol based, it absorbs it. Gotcha. And then it gets into your system. As the system starts to get hot, which is what is going to happen with any brakes, mm -hmm. it starts to expand because there's moisture in it. So what we want to do, especially on your hot rod that you may not be changing very often, mm -hmm. depending on your climate as well. If you're in the Northeast, you're going to want to change your brake fluid a lot more than someone in Arizona, right? Understood, okay. So making sure that you go through just like you're, che you're checking your oil mm -hmm. or making sure that the, the diff levels are good, you want to make sure that you're constantly bleeding the system to get a, as much of that moisture out as possible. That moisture starts to collect inside the brake system, and then if you've got, say, a cast iron caliper, what happens to it? Yep, we all know what water does, it rusts. Right? Yep. So Your that, brake lines, the master cylinder, anything like that. So it really does break down over time, and if you're performance driving your car, it, it's imperative that you do it more often than not. Gotcha, right. Now, you mentioned the DOT 3 and 4 and the new 5.1, uh, probably more new to our customers than yes. not new to the market, but um, what are some of the, the variables or differences in the fluids and what should our customers be using in, say, the typical hot rod with like a disc front drum rear? So, in a hot rod like that, it used to be a DOT 3. Okay. That was great. The only difference between the 3 and the newer 5.1 that you may see is that it, the 5.1 has newer lubricants for late model vehicles. Okay. So very similar in properties as far as temperature, but you're going to find more lubrication for all of your ABS systems and late model cars. So if you're using a DOT 3 and you see 5.1 like we carry now, mm -hmm. absolutely fine. Okay. You're going to see a DOT 4 in a race application. Okay. Um, somewhere where maybe you're autocrossing regularly or doing track days. And in those instances, it has a higher dry and wet boiling point. Gotcha, because the last thing you want to do is boil your fluid when you're getting into that deep corner. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and in that situation, you want to definitely bleed your brakes more often than not. Mm -hmm. Great, okay. Well, that's, that's pretty much sums it up for, for brake fluid here with Willwood. Thanks for watching. See you soon.